Hello, my name is Nathan Raven, uh, and if you are reading this, if you're reading this, if you're watching this, I don't do videos, so I'm not really used to this, I'm not really a YouTuber, um, although I, I, I sometimes do videos as Shane Dawson, and apparently they've been pretty successful, but uh, I don't make a lot of videos, but I just wanted to uh, say to y'all, on one of the features that uh, I have here at the Happy Place Patreon, is every month I try and give out a mystery box full of crap important to me and my career and uh, about the culture as a whole. Uh, and as with a lot of things I've kind of fallen behind, uh, putting up the website is so much work that it's hard to do anything else, especially when you're a parent, especially if you have various other outside things as well. Um, but I really, really want to get back into doing the mystery box uh, and having it be like a fun bonus for y'all. Uh, so I figured I would show y'all how I put these things together. Uh, let's get my, get my box full of stuff that I love and is part of the thing here. So let's see, what is first? Uh, John Ronson's So You've Been Publicly Shamed. Uh, as you can see, very, very well-read, excellent book, uh, particularly these days, a little bit of empathy. And it goes into the box. Uh, also, Mandatory Fun uh, by the musician Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, a bit of a fan. I like his music. Uh, good dude. So that goes in the box as well. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, speaking of Mr. Yankovic, uh, here is a t-shirt from his last tour. I actually purchased this while I was at... Uh, well, I was uh, at one of his shows. Uh, I thought it was just the back there, but it's the front thing, and I don't know. Not, not crazy about the front there. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, whatever. Uh, there it goes in there as well. La 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 la. What else do we have here? Oh, Gretchen about a Ducci's book. Not good. Not good, but kind of interesting. And if you're morbidly fascinated by the career, of uh, Danny Bonaduce and his ex-wife, you would probably enjoy this. And it's like 170 pages. So it's like four hours of not being that entertained, but not being that bored either. Uh, let's see, what else have we got here? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, one of my favorite groups is The Coup. Uh, ooh, ooh, we're probably best known for being where Boots Riley is from. Uh, I'm planning to do a project called The Coup in Review, uh, in which I write about all of Boots Riley and The Coup's albums in uh, order. Uh, not good, because as I said earlier, don't get around to doing a lot of things, even though I very much want to. So this goes in there as well. Uh, whoever you are, you're welcome. You're going to love uh, the coup. Uh, let's see what else have we got here. Uh, confidentially yours. Uh, Francois Truffaut's final film. I think I read about this for first and last. Uh, really good. Really solid. Uh, if you love Francois Truffaut, you will enjoy this motion picture. Uh, let's see what other stuff do we have here. Oh, this is fantastic. This is from a Patreon or er, Happy Place member, Mike Sachs' new book, Randy which I wrote about for the Literature Society. It's really fucking good. I laughed a lot. I enjoyed it. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly compelling. Uh, but now I want to pay it forward and give one of you beautiful people an opportunity to experience its uh, crackpot satirical genius. Uh, uh, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, if you have children, uh, you might enjoy this uh, part of the Sesame Street uh, treasury, a wonderful little set of books. Uh, from, I think, the 1980s. If you don't have children, you, you'll probably just seem like a weirdo having this, but, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Uh, da, 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 da. What else do we have here? Uh, the monster at the end of the book. Again, if you have children, this is great. If you don't, you'll think I'm just a giant weirdo, and, and, and maybe, you know, uh, think, think lesser of me uh, on account of that. Uh, here is a bootleg video uh, called Hearts of Fire. It's uh, that movie that Bob Dylan did uh, that was written by Joe Esterhaus. And directed by Richard Marquand, uh, the director of uh, Return of the Jedi. And he did a better job with that. And you will be surprised at how many Ewoks there are uh, in Hearts of Fire. It's kind of crazy, kind of crazy. Uh, we've also got 3,000 Miles to Graceland, a uh, controlled Nathan Raven 4.0 series. Uh, not a good movie, but it does contain uh, the lines, uh, he's so crazy, he's the kind of guy who will throw a live snake in a woman's coochie. I don't know why that was in there and why Kevin Costner wanted to make that movie, but God bless him, I got paid some money to see it. So I'm happy about that, very happy about that. Uh, let's see, what else have we got here? Ooh, first time. Uh, that is um, Frank Cashman's debut film, and it's really, really lovely. So being a parent for the first time, and it's 
surprisingly emotional and dramatic and this and that and the other thing. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoy DVDs and you like comedy and you like Frank Castle, I think you'll enjoy that as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Let's see. Elmo. Oh, this is this is a little bit bittersweet. Uh, this is Grandma's Boy, which was actually the first uh, the first subcult entry ever. First subcult ever. Uh, kind of amazing. And now a subcult, you know, was cancelled at Ron Tomatoes, which you feel great. You know, but I'm keeping it moving, keeping it forward, staying positive. So whoever wants to uh, watch Grandma's Boy and help me forget about, you know, various professional rejections, that'd be awesome. And then finally, I am going to put in the 18th Annual Gathering of the Juggalos. Demon in 17. And you want me to autograph this, since, you know, eh, maybe that'll make it a little bit more valuable. Uh, a little less likely for whoever receives this to just toss it in the trash, being like, why did I get this box full of junk? But what's going on with that Nathan Weirdo? I might as well delete his my pledge, which again, uh, that would be weird, and, and definitely not the response that I'm going for. So, Nathan... Raven. Demon in 17. Yeah, I'm going to go back in next year for the 20th anniversary. But if I don't, I know this might be my final trip to the gathering of the Juggalos. Alrighty, so ba -ba 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 -ba. this looks like a pretty good box full of stuff. Now I'm going to uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. take a look at my computer and randomly choose somebody to send this box full of crap to. Let's see. Okay, Micah Kenfield. Uh, Micah Kenfield, God bless you. Uh, you are going to receive the box full of crap. Congratulations, Micah Kenfield. And uh, yeah, I hope to be a lot better at this. I hope to send out a box next month as well and to you know, keep it moving and to have more extras and bonuses and more communication and whatnot. Because I really rely upon you and depend upon you to make a living and to be a pop culture writer and feed my family and stuff like that. So I want to show you how much I appreciate you in every possible way. Okay, so yeah, Micah Kenfield, you are the recipient of this box. Uh, I hope you're not horrified. I hope you don't throw it all in the trash. Uh, seeing as some weirdo sending you a bunch of garbage, which it kind of is. I mean, I am a weirdo, and this stuff is weird. But hopefully you like it. And uh, thank you. And thanks again, and uh, keep on supporting me. Thank you.